everyone, Mark the Statman Skevich, Real Fans, Real Talk, back again for our March Madness special, Final Four edition. The Final Four begins this Saturday, April 2nd. A lot of action out there, a lot of stuff to talk about, but uh, let me introduce the co-host for the March Madness special, uh, the one and only Trip Young, of course, my regular partner in crime and the Real Fans, Real Talk movement, and uh, Matthew O'Connor. Uh, with his insight, the Manhattan College, a uh, local uh, a native of uh, college sports. Uh, welcome back to the program. Thanks for having me. All right, a lot of stuff to talk about. Speaking about local, Syracuse is my favorite team. It's kind of the local team here since, you know, most of the regular local, <laughs> immediate local teams, we go by the state, you know, Syracuse, the immediate local teams kind of don't really go anywhere. Well, in New York. They're in New it's York, all good. so I mean, Carmelo Anthony, that's where he went and everything, so we do support uh, Syracuse. Too and bad they... he got a win with Syracuse and just can't seem to get it done for the Knicks, but that's neither here nor there. It's March Madness. People. I mean, yeah, that, that is <laughs> neither here madness. nor there, but of course you got to take your shot on the Knicks. No, but I was just, because I was excited, you know, I saw Carmelo's uh, Instagram video, he was all excited, and hoorah, and screaming all around when Syracuse uh, made it, and I'm just thinking to myself... Only if you could get the Knicks <laughs> to that point. I just don't understand, you know, how he's so he's so hyped about that and your team is not even making the playoffs. And Back to the final <laughs> four, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. So Syracuse will be facing our number one seed, North Carolina, and then on the other side, Villanova and Oklahoma. Now, I don't do mo that many brackets. I have one for one, one bracket for one uh, organization, one bracket for the other organization. So I kind of filled out two. I had Villanova winning it all in one, and I had North Carolina winning it all in the other. So I'm kind of in pretty decent shape. Uh, I did not expect Syracuse because Michigan State was in that bracket with them. I expected Michigan State to go a little further than they did. Not too far. I didn't see them going past the Sweet 16. But a big shocker nonetheless. Aside from Syracuse, who's the obvious shocker, Matt, who do you think are you most surprised that made it to the Final Four besides them? Because you have pretty much two and two two seeds and one one seed. I think the other three teams remaining are justly there. I mean, for the most part, they're led by seniors, which we don't see that much more in college basketball. So mm -hmm. that senior leadership's there. I mean, even Syracuse, uh, they're two star players. One's a freshman, one's a senior, so they're a little in the mix. But, uh, I mean, for me personally, I'm a little surprised Villanova's there. They're just one of the teams that I feel chokes every year. Uh, and, you know, even the years they are the one seed, they fall short, and uh, people are upset about it. So uh, they're, they're having a better run than I expected them to have. So uh, yeah. they're the surpri other surprise team. And that was actually because I know, you know, last week when we spoke about this, you know, first of all, shout out to Duke. They, they did get eliminated. I know you're happy about that one. But how hard is it to repeat in college basketball when everybody is trying to make that jump to the pros? Oh, extremely. I mean, the whole process from recruiting to then trying to have to keep them, uh, I mean, it's, it's basically an everyday job if you're a college coach. You have yeah. to work with these people, these kids, every day. And for some guys, we see that they aren't ready to go and they still decide to leave. Mm -hmm. They make mistakes. Some guys are ready at, as a freshman and make the jump where then you give, have to give credit to coaches that don't have a one-and-done program like Tom Izzo at Michigan State where yeah. guys are there for four years pretty much all the time. And he still can't win. And, and then it and then <laughs> doesn't do him any good anyway, so yeah. I, there's real no answer there of which one works better. Is there anyone from the, I, I guess we'll say the top five uh, prospects that are thinking about uh, jumping to the pros right now who you feel like is not ready to go? Um, I mean, Brandon Ingram is a star at Duke, and I wouldn't say that he's not ready. I think he just, uh, the potential is obviously there, and you can see it some nights. Mm -hmm. It's just for a lot of his talents are still very raw, so I think if he stayed a year, he would be automatically the number one pick next year yeah. and just really kind of perfect his game where then he could jump into the NBA and then tra transition would be much easier for him, I think. Do you think that Duke would win the national championship next year if he stayed? Uh, I think they'd be a heavy favorite with their recruiting class. They have a couple of the top few next year, and if he stayed, then I think they'd be absolutely right. the number one team next year. Now, we talk about college sports and athletes getting paid, and you know, so many people are jumping real quickly to the NBA because they're broke, they're not getting paid. Do you think uh, college players should be play, uh, paid, 
And if so, do you think that would make them stay longer, even though they'll be paid significantly less than if they played in the NBA, if they were to get paid? So two-part well, question. For your second question, I think it would influence players to stay longer if there was some sort of salary, whatever the number would be. But I personally am against college players being paid. I mean, it's really only men's basketball and college football athletes that are the ones bringing money in for their schools that would have any case against promoting to be be paid by that school you know college wrestling is big in some parts of this country but it doesn't make any money yeah. really in return and but then against it people really never talk about uh, the free education that many of these players don't take advantage of which is then on their on them but they are given you know a free eighty thousand dollar education that uh, you know my, I myself there's many schools in the tournament now if I applied to I, I'd be laughed away so yeah. uh, so I'm for that reason that just because they don't use it to their full advantage and then cr criticize the whole scenario of what happened I, I am against college players being paid I mean from a business standpoint if they are getting paid then those players would stay longer which would attract an even more o of an audience you know uh, guys just jump in ship early uh, they get so much uh, publicity even from high school like you look at Andrew Wiggins for example more recently uh, all the publicity he was getting that he was gonna you know he could have been drafted out of high school he could have been the next LeBron James he's not obviously not living up to his potential in the NBA but maybe if he developed himself more maybe if there was some type of salary because these guys you know, it's not even salary. They can't even get paid for their own jerseys that are being bought. Like, if there was some, like, if you're going and you're making that much money for the, uh, an organization, then I, I think you should be able to get something, even if it's just to be able to do an autograph event or something to make money off of your name, which is what they're making off of, if not necessarily a salary. But if you're that guy that's selling that many tickets, you know, at least have something where, you know, they're, they're motivated to stay there a little longer. And that would make more money for the school, too, which would be better for, you know, the student athletes that, you know, get scholarships, you know, for the less popular sports. They'll be able to, have, you know, put funding in for those programs, too. So I, I agree with that point. I, I think uh, I'm against them being paid by the school, but autographs, signings, even appearances, I mean, for some of these uh, big time schools that are in small towns, these guys are local heroes. So yeah. for just appearing, I have no problem with them being paid for that, being public figures, they should be, but strictly the school, the school paying itself, the student, I'm, paying I'm against, yeah. Well, guess because if you look at it from that standpoint, technically the school would be paying them with the education from that standpoint, but anything outside of that, you know, I think they should, especially, you know, the video games and things like that, I think they should definitely make that money. But even with the, a lot of the guys one and done, I mean, the schools that are that are making those crazy bucks off of these athletes, they're still making them because those schools are still getting the biggest names to come in. Like a school like Duke is not going to be hurt if Ingram leaves. Like just like they, they weren't hurt last year with Justin Winslow and, and, and all of those guys leaving or, or Kentucky and whatnot. Those schools are still going to generate that same money that they, that they always generate because they'll get the best of the best. Yeah, definitely. Um, and Coach K would probably make more money if he was more familiar with the emoji language. <laughs> but that, that's, that's another story. Um, but it's that time. It's Final Four this Saturday. Who's your pick? We'll, we'll start with you, Matt. Um, to, to win it all, I think I said last week my favorite was Oklahoma, and Buddy Heald's just been going off recently, so I think I'm going to stick with him to take it all. Right. You were, we're rooting for Oregon, though. I was. And they did get the Duke it, win. So I, think, I that picked win. that one, but then it was wrong a few days later. But <laughs> I'll stick with Oklahoma then. All right. I'm, I'm, I mean, you know I can't go for North Carolina. I just can't. There's no way I could ever pick them to, to win it. So by default, I'm just going to go with Oklahoma on this one. I mean, I, don't, I just I don't know what, what Villanova. I would like, you know what, I would, wouldn't mind seeing Syracuse. At least, you know, maybe they can show Melo how to win something. So maybe so I'll Mello go. Melo won when he was there. Yeah, so. well, I'm talking about in the NBA. Maybe they could, like, transition over. But I'll go with. I'll, so you know what? I'm taking that back. I'm going to go with Syracuse. I'm going to just go with the New, New York team. I mean, I'm rooting for Syracuse, no question about that. But, uh, you know, I, as long as Oklahoma doesn't win, I'm, I, I got some bragging rights because I got two brackets 
a one with North Carolina winning, one with Villanova winning, and then Syracuse is my my team. So uh, one of those three, and I'm okay. But uh, official pick, uh, so to not just you know try to slide away from it, I'm I'm picking uh, North Carolina to win it all, and to make uh, Trip Young mad by saying it. <laughs> That's all good. But but that does it for this edition of March Madness Final Four. Uh, we're going to have a, a wrap up after the championship game, which is this Monday. Saturday's the Final Four. Some great matchups. Uh, North Carolina will be taking on Syracuse, and Oklahoma will be taking on Villanova. And uh, after that, we have the finals on Monday. So make sure you tune in, and make sure you tune in to our follow up. Uh, you know, shortly after the um, the final. So uh, for Matthew O'Connor and Trip Young. I'm Mark the Statman Skevich. Thank you again for joining us on this March Madness special, and we'll see you next time, everyone. Real fans, real talk.com. Well, Arthur Domus, Trip Young, and intern Tom. For the white and black fans, Asia to Manhattan. I'll get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats Man. If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan. And if